Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x minus 4 to the power 4 is equal to x to the power 4. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x to the power 4 on both sides. So now I have x minus 4 to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 is equal to 0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite both of these terms. Now, I have to use an important property of exponents to do this. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x minus 4 to the power of 4 and x to the power of 4, we can think of these as a to the power of 2 times 2, because 4 is equal to 2 times 2. So I could rewrite these as a to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So I'm going to rewrite both x minus 4 to the power of 4 and x to the power of 4 as x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, right here, I can think of x minus 4 as the variable a and x as the variable b. So now I have a squared minus b squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So now I will have a squared minus b squared is equal to 0, so this means that a plus b times a minus b is equal to 0. Now remember how we set a equal to x minus 4 squared, and we set b equal to x squared. So now I have x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared and this is equal to 0. Now, x minus 4 squared is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 4, and this is equal to x squared minus 8x plus 16. So now I have x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared is equal to 0. So this will simplify to 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times these two cancel out, so simply negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0, and I also have negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So first off, for negative 8x plus 16 equals 0, I can first start off by subtracting negative 16 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I will be left with negative 8x is equal to 16. Now I can divide by negative 8 on both sides. So then these two will cancel out. And I will be left with, oops, sorry. This is actually negative 16. So now if I divide by negative 8 on both sides, these two will cancel out. And I'll be left with x is equal to negative 16 divided by negative 8 is positive 2. So now this is going to be one value of x. Now, for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the greatest common factor in this equation here. So we have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16, right? So the greatest common factor of, we need to find the greatest common factor of 2, 8, and 16. So out of all of these, 
2 would actually be a factor of all of them because 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 16 divided by 2 is 8. So now I can factor out 2 from this. So 2x squared divided by 2 is simply going to be x squared because 2 divided by 2 is 1, those two cancel out, minus now 8x, negative 8x divided by 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4, so this is going to be negative 4x, plus 16 divided by 2 is 8. This is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. These two will cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. So now, as you can see, we've simplified our equation to simply just x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this, we're going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. Now, in this case, a here, this is equal to 1, because the coefficient in front of x squared is 1. b, this is equal to negative 4, because the coefficient in front of x is negative 4. And c, this is equal to 8. 8 here is our constant. So now, if we go ahead and plug these values in into our quadratic formula, we have negative b, so negative negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so negative 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8. And we are dividing this by 2a, so 2 times 1. Now this can be simplified into negative of negative 4 is positive 4, so I have positive 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 8 is 32, or over 2 times 1 is 2. This can be simplified into 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32 is negative 16 over 2. And negative 16 we can rewrite as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1, 2. And the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 i over 2. Now the square root of 16, this is equal to 4. So now I have x is equal to 4 plus or minus 4i over 2. Now if I divide this by 2, I get 2 plus or minus 2i. So now my three solutions to this are x equals 2, x equals 2 plus 2i, and x is equal to 2 minus 2i. So these are my three solutions to this equation.